Good morning. Today is Monday, June 14th, Flag Day. And we begin morning prayer with this opening sentence from Psalm 122. I was glad when they said unto me, we will go into the house of the Lord. The Confession of Sin on page 12. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. This morning we will say the Jubilate, found on page 15. O be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be assured that the Lord, he is God. It is not he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures from generation to generation. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 107, verses 1 through 22. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious. And his mercy endures forever. Let those whom the Lord has redeemed give thanks. Whom he has delivered from the hand of the enemy. And gathered them out of the lands from the cast, from the east and from the west. From the north and from the south. They went astray in the wilderness, even in the desert. And found no city to dwell in. They were hungry and thirsty. And their soul fainted within them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And he delivered them from their distress. He led them forth by a straight path. Until they came to a city where they might dwell. Oh, that they would therefore praise the Lord for his goodness. And declare the wonders that he does for the children of men. For he satisfies the empty soul. And fills the hungry soul with goodness. Some sat in darkness and in the shadow of death. Being bound fast in misery and iron because they rebelled against the words of God. And lightly regarded the counsel of the Most High. He also brought down their heart with heaviness. They fell down, and there was none to help them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And he delivered them out of their distress. For he brought them out of darkness and out of the shadow of, de shadow of death. And broke their bonds asunder. Oh, that they would therefore praise the Lord for his goodness. And declare the wonders that he does for the children of men. For he has broken the gates of the brass. And shattered the bars of iron asunder. The foolish were plagued for their offense. And because of their wickedness. Their soul abhorred all manner of food. And they were even close to death's door. So when they cried unto the Lord in their trouble... He delivered them out of their distress. He sent his word and he healed them. And they were saved from destruction. Oh, that they would therefore praise the Lord for his goodness. And declare the wonders that he does for the children of men. 
that they would offer unto him the sacrifice of thanksgiving. And tell of his works with gladness. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke, beginning with the 23rd chapter, the 50th verse. Now there was a man named Joseph from the Jewish town of Arimathea. He was a member of the council, a good and righteous man, who had not consented to their decision and action, and he was looking for the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then he took it down and wrapped it in a linen shroud and laid him in the tomb, cut in stone, where no one had ever yet been laid. It was the day of preparation, and the Sabbath was beginning. The women who had come, come with him from Galilee followed and saw the tomb and how his body was laid. Then they returned and prepared spices and ointments. On the Sabbath day, they rested according to the commandment. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared, and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. And when they went in, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel. And as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but has arisen. Remember how he told you when he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified on the third day and on the third day rise? And they remembered his words. And returning from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary, the mother of James, and the other woman with them who told these things to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter rose and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He, he saw the linen cloths by themselves, and he went home marveling at what had happened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle appointed for this morning is canticle number, or the Todayum Laudamus, found on page 17. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took your flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. The Apostles' Creed on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. 
Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Cree in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect for Monday for the Renewal of Life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the time for intercession and thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for all that you are doing in our lives. I pray for comfort for Sybil as she goes through this time after her sister just passed. I pray for the news that you would also encourage them and renew their strength. Uh, I thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we lift up prayers of thanksgiving for all the many blessings you have poured over Christ the King and over our congregation, including the blessing of letting people pass from this world to the next due to the joy of your presence. We ask that you would give our hearts the blessing of knowledge of this, knowledge of your sure presence right by our side as we, as we help our brothers and sisters who are dealing with illness or loved ones <clears throat> trying to prepare themselves for this coming event. Give us the grace to know the words to speak and most of all to know when to be quiet, to just be a comforting presence. Help us find the time to write notes with, with the right comforting words. Give us the words to speak to them give us the grace to find time to fix meals, do the things we need to do to help our friends, our brothers and sisters through these times. And yes, help us find the time every day to lift prayers for Sybil, for David, and for all the people we know who have just lost loved ones. Help us as a community to be ready to reach out and help those who need our help. Um, help us to continue to grow as a Christian community, to reach out to our neighborhood and to Albuquerque. Um, to help us to say prayers for those who are still working, that their workplaces will be blessed by their presence, uh, whether overt or not. Um, this world needs now more than ever a Christian presence, and so Lord, guide us show us how to be that. All these things we ask in your name. Lord Jesus, we thank you for being with us. Thank you for the baptism yesterday. Thank you for Sophia and ask Lord for the blessing be upon her and her family and this uh, beginning uh, of her journey with you, Lord, and ask that your Holy Spirit accompany her uh, along the way that she may have, even from a young age, an awareness of 
uh, who you are. And through that, bless those around her. We give you thanks for the newcomers uh, event happening next week. And we thank you for the uh, strong uh, indication that um, many will uh, be joining us for the dinner and the class and pray Lord for those who haven't responded yet. We pray Lord that, uh, that they will be uh, inclined to respond by a nudge of your spirit and ask Lord that, that, that some of the brand newcomers, like we're talking new, new, like, like yesterday newcomers uh, will, uh, will also attend. And we pray overall for, for these newcomers that they may find a church home, a place where they can uh, know you and uh, to grow and love you and uh, an awareness of, of service uh, for others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.